I was just walking from my office to a Starbucks and uh, just was a matter of which light was had the walk sign at the corner that made me go left instead of right and I was walking right by the, the monument uh, when the shot started. You know, my body, you know, I instinctively knew it was gunfire and uh, without thinking too much about it, um, I went running over there and, uh, you know, full speed. At one point there was two people beside a van that was parked on the sidewalks. I told them to stay there and then I got out and kept running. And then it's only when arriving actually right by the tomb of the unknown soldier that, um, you know, I looked down and it was Corporal Cirillo and uh, Kyle Button, uh, Corporal there, was, was already doing first aid and checking him over. You were holding Nathan Cirillo's hand? His left hand, yeah. What was going through your mind? Well, you know, I, you know, I have children and uh, I was really thinking at that point that, you know, why I grabbed his hand? Well, if anything like this happened to any of my children, I'd really hope that a stranger would hold their, their hand too. And, um, you know, as they went through to the other side. You know, you say the seconds trickle by, but, but they don't. Like, time just kind of gets all weird. And, uh, you know, as we got into, you know, I don't know how long it took. It might have been a matter of seconds for all of us to arrive at that point to get into a routine. And then you start breathing again, and, you know, you become self-aware, and you start looking around and say, is it over? Is there more? And, you know, I'm holding on to a man's legs who's, you know, first aid, CPR is being performed on him. We're, we're, we're trying to keep this person alive. You know, and you also notice the trees and you notice a bird fly by and you look around and you see people off in the distance. Then you start hearing sirens and, uh, you know, you, you become aware that, uh, you know, I became aware that, you know, you're covered in sweat all of a sudden. And, uh, you know, it, it gets very, very different. Time just gets really loose and bendy. I believe that the whole group was kind of aware at one point that he had moved on. I really believe that. Um, you know, it kind of became apparent, I think, after a few minutes that uh, his wounds were, were too severe for no matter what we did. Nothing stopped. Everyone kept going with first aid, you know. And of course, when the ambulances arrived and uh, they started doing their checks over him, and, um, you know, they proceeded to, to open his shirt and, uh, you know, examine the wounds and stuff like that. Uh, I was still still there. And, you know, hearing them talk amongst themselves, it, it became uh, it became apparent to me at that point that, um, that he had passed on. The ambulance people relieved us from, uh, uh, from Nathan. And I kind of just sat back and I was sitting, actually my, on the tomb of the unknown soldier, just on the, the footing of it. And I'm facing the monument. So, you know, I see them cart away Nathan on, on the ambulances and I'm looking down and there's people are kind of dispersing and there's bags on the ground and, and then my hands are shaking, I'm getting kind of cold and then I just look up at the stone face and you look up higher and, and you see like such an imposing, um, you know, the statue of the soldiers and the guns and you can see just the tip of the horses in the back there and, and that was probably the, the coldest, loneliest moment of my life at that point. And then, you know, and then I tell myself, wow, that was like a guy. That was like, that was a real person that they're carting away in an ambulance right now. Those were, you know, it all comes rushing in because time starts to catch up to you, or was catching up to me at this point. And then I'm thinking, you know, like, like, like why? Like, you know, like, what's the point of all this? Like, this is all wrong. You know, I'm still taking lessons from that. Every day, I hope I'm a better person because of it. Um, you know, I'm trying to learn and grow and uh, to keep moving forward.